The Philadelphia Eagles have had nine different helmet designs in their history, and man, are they a train wreck. <laughs> Thank you. They are. We have spent the last hour and a half just trying to figure out how to present this to you. Now, we know that there are really intense Eagle fans out there that no matter what we say, we're probably going to get something a little bit incorrect because there's so much to digest here. Well, I thought that you were going to say no matter what we say, they're going to not going to be happy with us. A little bit of that too. I, you know, and, and I'm a Lions fan. Mm -hmm. Steve, you're a, you're a you're a Giants fan. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of inner hatred, obviously, for the Eagles, for, for, from where that comes from. So you have a, an excuse for yeah, yeah. not being a huge fan of their helmets. But I'm mean, I mean, I'm okay with a, a wing on the side of the helmet. That's cool. It's just the way that it's being presented to us. I just don't get it. It's almost insulting how bad the front of that. I don't, I don't get it. So I need somebody, as you're watching this video, help me, please. Help me help you figure out how to, I don't know, get past this. Yes. Yeah. And we'll, let's explain. Explain what yeah. you need. Abomination is the word that comes to <laughs> mind, right? Okay. So let's get this thing started. Started off in 1955. We're really going over the Super Bowl here, era here, but they wore it all the way up to 1968. The Super Bowl started in 67. Kelly green helmet, silver eagle wing, and a gray face mask. So it all kind of started here with the problem. <laughs> it right, really did. It, right out of the, right out of the gate. It kind of bothers me that the wings don't attach in the front, or at least have them a little bit lower, so it kind of I don't know looks finished. It would bother me. If, as a fan to, to see this all the time and be like, why, why, why aren't they finishing this? I agree. Well, let's move past it. 1969, they did something that they were way ahead of their time. I'll give them credit for that. And I actually think the concept is pretty cool. So in 1969, they wore a Kelly green helmet, white eagle wings on the sides and a gray face mask. They should definitely have used white face masks, but they didn't. Let's not beat them up too much for that. They only wore that design at their away games. At their home games, they inverted the colors and they wore a white helmet with a green wing and a gray face mask. The idea, I love it. I'm with you. Like you said, way ahead of their time and I would love to see that happen now. A lot of teams that we work with at the, the college level or the big college level, they'll have three or four different helmets. They'll have four, five, six different types of decal sets, and then they'll have three, four, five different types of helmets, and you can make 15 different designs. That's so right. literally, you can have a slightly different design every week. That's cool. Hmm. But this, I don't know. I'm guessing it was a real pain in the ass because they did it for one year, and then they stopped it. Yeah, right. I think you are correct in saying it was probably a pain in the ass. Yeah. So they axed the green helmets and they stuck with the white helmets with green wings up until 1973. Yeah, they got four years out of this look with that incomplete wing in the front still, but I didn't hate this look. In 1974, they switched things up. They went back to the green helmets. They brought back the silver wing, but this time it's got a white border. Yeah, and it's a little change, but it was much needed change for that Eagle's wing. It's nice. I think so too, and they also stuck with the gray face mask, so we don't like that, but they kept this look through 1995, except for a few games. The 94 special, which a lot of teams did a 1994 special, which is kind of a throwback. I gotta think theirs is one of the worst. Oh, totally. The green helmet with this insanely wide stripe. If it was just an insanely wide stripe and that's all it was, might not have been that bad. Probably was still would have been bad. Well, we need to hear it from the Eagles fans in the comments below. How do you feel about it? If you've never noticed it, well, you can't unnotice it now. Mm -hmm. So, in addition to that design between 74 and 95, during the 1989 season, they took a piece of black tape through the wing to honor their quarterback coach who had died that year, Doug Scoville. Yeah, kind of like you see the police and fire department do with yep. their badges. Yep, and that was for, the I think, the last three games of that season. And then, Steve, 96. That's when they brought this bad boy out. To me, Big improvement. This is midnight green with a copious amount of flake, which makes it look really good. And they completely redesigned the wings so you've got white, silver, black, with then a white border around them. And much more realistic wings, I think. 
Yeah, the wings are cool. The wings have flake in them in the silver portion as well. The black face mask mm -hmm. is great. There's so many things about this current look that is far superior to yes. what they wore in the and past. It's, and it's all tied together. And there's the one thing that they didn't get rid of. That incomplete yeah. wing. The big, the, the, the big space. I, I, it drives me nuts. Yeah. So they did a really weird thing in 2007 as a, I don't even think it was a throwback. It looks like a pissed off Pac-Man eating a bunch of blue stuff. Dude, take that helmet and turn it upside down. The ear hole makes a perfect Pac-Man eye. The mouth, yeah. it's ridiculous yeah. on so many levels. Yeah. <laughs> like you it, can't unsee it. Apparently in the 30s, their colors were blue and yellow. It was a, you know, a throwback inspired i guess to that era and i think the uniforms were were more accurate but they didn't wear hard shell helmets back then they probably just had leather helmets on so they had to come up with something and i guess this is what they came up with somebody in a room said hey if we wore helmets back then what would they have looked like yeah. somewhere between a pac-man and a michigan helmet yeah the 1930s called and they want this back yeah. and of course they had to put a gray face mask on. <laughs> yeah of course how bad can we make it so this, this midnight green, you can tell by the name of the color, it's a pretty dark helmet. It is. But not dark enough, Steve. No. No. So they in 2022, they had to come out with an alternate, and they just went all black. They, they, hmm? they, they, they took it all the way. Obviously, they kept the black face mask. And the decal is the same on the sides. So they went from a midnight navy, which is dark, to just all black. I got to say, now we're talking. Black helmet with that blackout jersey with just a little bit of green this is my favorite look and it pains me to say that but i mean man it's a cool look it is good i like the helmet overall i actually like this one here that we have here a good bit too but the thing that i don't like about the black helmets is that they're not that different from the green the still they still didn't complete Beagle wing. Though. Oh, no, 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 of course not. Why would, why would they do that? They can't stop now. In 2023, they came out with an alternate. It's an alternate, but it's inspired by a throwback. But it's not the same. It is inspired by the 7495 look. And the decals are identical. It's got the same crummy gray face mask. <laughs> it, they keep the gap in there. But the Kelly green that they used is, I don't know, a shade different. It's a paint and it's got some flake in it. This helmet here on, that we have in the desk, which is the midnight green, that has flake that you can see from, you know, 10 feet away. Oh yeah, if you're watching this on television, you'd almost never know there was flake in it. What you would notice though, is how wonderfully it fits the jersey color. On television and everywhere, it's more important now for things to match when you're in 4K, 8K type of, world than in the 70s and 80s when it was you know 100 yeah options here which one of these is your favorite helmet so i have two my all-time favorite is that black alternate and then okay. my second runner-up is the current midnight green i'll say this i think it would be my favorite helmet if that white helmet with the green wing had a white face mask yeah so i'm hoping that if this is now two years in a row that the Eagles have come out with an alternate helmet, maybe that will be a new alternate next year. But since that doesn't exist yet, I too am gonna go with the black helmet. Nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. And you know, we know that this was a rough one. And if you weren't an Eagles fan to begin with, then don't worry. We have all of the other 31 teams in a playlist that we're doing. So dig into those other videos.